Hello all, welcome back to our game. Uh, this is uh, still the seventh, if I'm not mistaken, Soviet uh, impulse and the auxiliary card uh, was not uh, used. So now the auxiliary card becomes command card. So it's going to be uh, the activation. Uh, we've got uh, Sorry, uh, yeah, they, they're going to get another command. Well, typically in the first round, it's uh, always the activation. So yes, uh, in the same impulse, Soviets are going to get uh, a second uh, activation. And uh, yeah, I have um, tried to, you know, uh, review the situation here. I mean, uh, the movement and stuff w was a bit tricky and um, yeah, I, I can't see anything you know uh, uh, that strikes me as you know very well, well it seems odd but I can't find anything that's uh, definitely uh, broken or I haven't uh, that I haven't you know interpreted correctly so uh, yes that's uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to accept uh, things as they are and you know we're approaching the end of turn two so if uh, if something happens then uh, I will uh, you know it's just the end I will turn back and redo it so yeah uh, so okay uh, let's get this done with so it's six army units and the units it's not the whole corps and we have to select up to two units or stacks uh, in sixth army and not in a vp hex so uh let's see where we've got we've got this unit here uh, this unit in zoom and these two units and uh, no wait oh almost forgot it and we've got another unit which um, let me try and move it yes that's, that's it right here which has uh Yeah, this one, uh, which was moved here by you know, the vagaries of movement methods, but uh, yeah, uh, it found itself there. So yeah, that's these uh, what five units. Okay, so activate up to two unit stacks and six of them not in a VP hex. So this one is already uh, it's in a VP hex. It's zoom, so it's already excluded. So it's one two three four units and let's check the preferences on the card there were some preferences and yeah let me leave that here okay prefer supplied i mean everything is supplied not surrounded uh none of them uh, are surrounded highest strength so that yeah there you got it it's one this one and this one the others are uh three uh there are no stacks uh as is, so these are the units that are going to get activated. So let me get this back into the display. So now, uh, of course, when we activate uh, units from the front, we check for objective relocation. But um, despite their victory, the uh, Soviets are still aren't proximate. They can't enter here. Uh, because uh, there's still between this unit and this unit there's still zones of control here, zones of control here so they can't pass through, this unit can't move here they can move to this hex here uh, it would be zog to zog, they can't go around well, maybe they will in the next few turns but uh, right now it's uh, they're not proximate to objective so yeah, uh, we're back uh, to movement methods okay uh movement method and uh, this movement method one descending order so uh this one take vp hex uh no there's no empty vp hex that they could read and take so that's it and then yeah. so this is uh, what, uh sorry this is ascending order adjustment to the vp hex near objective and well yes this one would fit but uh it is already adjusted but near objective uh 
uh, let me check something yes movement method 2 it says here that uh, um, prefer oh no uh, it can't move to any other hex uh, it is a near objective uh, main objective is there so okay it says here uh, Soviet Union starting adjacent to German VP hex within ah uh, within four hexes well this clearly isn't within four hexes the, and unable to move the mo does not move so uh, this unit can't go adjacent to um, it starts adjacent but it's not uh, uh, within four hex so this unit is not marked as unable to move by any other method because then it could you know uh, prefer a method that would get it near to its uh, front objective uh, I mean okay it would move by uh, movement method 2 if it could find the preferred hex I mean it would be Kramatorsk which is too far away can't reach that if there was a hex let's say here uh, VP hex it would move here because it would be closer to um, the objective but it isn't and since this hex is not within yeah the logic is this that uh, this since this hex this VP hex uh, isn't close isn't within four hexes of the objective then uh, we release the unit the unit uh, can move uh, we don't whereas if it was close to the objective uh, it would remain there adjacent to that VP hex so no this doesn't move my math movement method 2 and uh, let's see this if it can move by movement method 2 I mean uh, it could well, it can't reach Kramatorsk, but even if it could, it would be cl further from the objective, not closer. It's already within four hexes, so yeah, but uh, it's not adjusted to the hex. So yeah, uh, no, movement method do for either of these units. So uh, let's go to movement method. Uh, no, three is to open supply line, that's turn three onwards, till turn two. And now uh, six army. Uh, is not uh, a spearhead unit so we move to movement method 4 which is to cause surround and it's a descending order okay so this is it uh, yeah uh, or no okay cause surround can this unit cause this unit no it would have to reach uh, no it would have to reach this hex in order to cause it to and this is not happening it starts already in the zone of control of this unit and it can't go through here it can't go all the way around it would have to go around here actually so no uh could it reach no again this unit it would have to uh this is this is okay it would have to no no it can't cause around to this unit no matter where it is it would have to go even if it can't reach here uh, some other unit no this unit it was eliminated uh, these units here no again can't go behind it's too far away uh, yeah it we could attempt and I mean this unit uh, but I don't think it can reach that far away uh, if we place a unit here yeah or even here no it would have to be here if we place a unit oh sorry you can't see that yeah I was uh, discussing the possibility of, uh, of surrounding this this unit so we have to place a unit here to surround this unit and yeah it's too far away for this unit to reach that it would be what two and three and uh, four that's the best they can do or uh, no it can go into the woods because it could be two three and uh, five in the woods so yeah, it can't even reach Slovyansk, which is quite interesting, isn't it? Okay, so uh, back to, uh, yeah, it can't, no, it can't surround these units as well, uh, because it can't reach uh, these hex, it could reach this hex, and again, no, these units wouldn't be surrounded, uh, you have to control this hex for in order for these units to become surrounded and to do that you have to get a unit here so now okay uh, let's check the other unit uh, yeah the, the, uh, 
<coughs> that's interesting uh controlled controlled uh these are these are the two hexes that are not oh come on yeah that's better um these are the two hexes that are not right now controlled by soviet units so yeah uh, in order to control them we would have to get a unit uh here um, uh, or here yeah can this unit reach here uh, well, I don't think it can because it would be two big in zone of control, uh, plus two crossing the river, and uh, yeah, uh, that would be four. Can only get here, uh, two control. Yeah, it can't go here or here. Yeah, it would be two here, one to cross the river, three, one into the hex, four, and stop. So yeah, no way it can reach. Uh, this has to have to go all the way here and then here and then here to do that and yeah i mean a mechanized unit may may do this so we'll have to you know do something with their lines uh yeah but uh right now it can't do it and that's uh, what matters so again uh Number five, yeah, that's interesting. Descending order again uh, to Soviet VP hex, and it is moved to empty or garrison Soviet VP hex targeted for the active front and to which a German unit is proximal. And yes, that's that's interesting here. That's very interesting here because we've got the Slavyansk uh, situation, and <coughs> Slavyansk is right now empty no units and this unit these units are proximate to slavyansk uh, it can go straight because it would be zone of control but it could go could go yeah could be uh three here two for broken and one for breaking zone of control three here and then it would be one to cross uh, the river the minor river here it would be four plus one into Shiva five yeah so this uh, is proximate to Slavyansk and also this unit is proximate to Slavyansk again two here breaking zone of control four here uh, broken plus one for the rear five plus one for the hex six yeah so all of, there are three units right now proximate to uh, Slavyansk so yes uh, this unit will uh, any unit move to an empty okay prefer no preferences now because this is here but uh, the point is can this unit reach Slavyansk and it would be two break in zone of control here and I mean these are the same yeah it will prefer the two three and I uh, will have a check this and four yeah it can't it can uh, end up adjusting let me yeah it's zone of control definitely so two to clear breaking zone of control three here and road or whatever here uh four it's just it, ca it can't move it can't reach oh which which gives us a chance doesn't it again the same uh for uh yeah. same for this unit uh we can't reach I mean, the other it can it can't reach any uh, Soviet empty Soviet VP hex right now. So I'm not. Uh, uh, we can uh, skip that. So okay, <coughs> number six ascending order. Ah yes, <coughs> now that's interesting. Uh, that's number six movement with ascending order. So uh, let's check this one first. Is adjacent to German VP hex move to a hex uh, to a hex it's not uh, something about closure here targeted for the active front it is targeted because there's a, a little red here uh, there's orange but it's red so it doesn't the method does say exclusively like other methods do okay it's adjacent to german vp hex static for the active front so a soviet unit starting adjacent to the most qualified german vp hex i mean there's only one is there another one uh could you ah, oh, no this is soviet now karkov is unreachable uh 
Kramatorsk, of course. Yeah, so no, there's no preferred. Uh, okay, the preferred would be occupied by the least stream, stream at highest VP value. I mean, no, we don't have a choice. A Soviet unit stands adjacent to the most qualified German VP hex, does not move by this or any subsequent method, there you have it, except as directed by 925. So uh, we have to 925 and it's going to be, uh, it can't reach this hex, zone control, zone control. Uh, it could be here and it can't reach this hex as we have already uh, said. So it's 925 between uh, these two hexes and let me check the 925 preferences and okay, uh, operation limit both hexes are Causing surround, no, neither hex can do that. In Soviet support, both are not adjacent to a Soviet, not occupied by or adjacent to a Soviet unit, adjacent to the same unit. I mean, uh, both hexes are exactly the same. Empty or garrison, both are not. Not occupied by active unit, both are not. So it's tiebreaker. Closest to the unit's objective marker. I mean, <laughs> okay. I think both are the same distance, but let me, yeah, because it would be one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, let me check this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they're both seven uh, away. Okay. Uh, empty hex. No further in objective compass direction. Yeah, and yes, this, this, so it's going to adjust there because it could be tangent to here. That's one for the road. Yeah, it will adjust there because it's furthest in the compass direction, it's more west and the west is down okay, this one has, oh sorry this one has moved okay adjusted, but uh, in order to adjust you have to move, so yeah I'm counting as a move or a move no, it has clearly moved since it's adjusted, you got to get out and then okay. Uh, so number, uh, yeah, no, the same for the other unit, and yeah, this unit can't reach uh, German, uh, can't reach uh, German VP hex, uh, oh, adjacent to German VP hex, no, it can't reach Kramatorsk because, uh, as we've said, and yeah. So it's 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 not happening. Uh, okay, no. So number seven, descending. Or I mean, we've only one this unit. The other unit has moved or has not moved, uh, depending on how you you see it. Yeah. Does not uh, because it 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 will have an effect on uh, removing to reserve. Ah, uh, yeah. It's interesting because um, clearly is unit. I mean, it hasn't moved because it has been told not to move. <laughs> That's uh, let's see. No, no, because uh, the rule book says a Soviet unit start and just does not move by this. Or in the parentheses say accept as directed. So it it, it seems to imply that uh, 925 is still a movement, and you know uh, it 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 has moved. It has gone from hex to hex, and if it's not a movement, uh, then what it is? So yeah, I, I'm considering this unit moved. Okay, uh, some common sense, I suppose. Uh, okay, adjustment to German unit in logistics hex. Yes, uh, there, is, there are two. I mean, these units are in logistics hex, and also uh, this unit is also in logistics hex. So, uh, yeah. Mm, let's see. A, unit, a Soviet unit starting in adjustment to qualifying German unit stack does not move. Okay, again, this will not move. And except of course 925 and 925 again so uh, 925 
operation limiter k causing i mean uh, it would adjust to any of these three ah there are, no it can't read this hex so it's between these two hexes because uh, you can you can't read this hex you do to have to stop here or here so it's these two hexes uh, between these two but uh, i don't i think it will remain here so uh prefer hex operation limit okay uh, causing surround not happening soviet support both hexes not adjusting not occupied by or adjusting to a uh, soviet union uh, this is clearly occupied this is adjusting okay empty or garrisons uh, i mean this is the empty this is the empty hex i mean if we move this this moves out and try to decide where to go this is the empty hex so that it would remain here and not occupied by active i mean yeah this is the hex empty or garrison and if and if it was the tie breakers it would be um yeah tie breakers would be here but no uh it's 925 first so yeah this is uh empty so it, but this unit the difference is that this unit hasn't changed uh, a hex so i consider it as not moved at all not even adjusted so uh, no movement at all uh, so yeah and that's it that's it so uh typically now we are going to uh have the uh, yeah we're going to have our uh, attack checks and ascending order uh, let's start by the unit number three here uh what's uh okay so attack check against this unit uh no assault coordination uh but i uh, know reserve units also uh so yeah it's just these two so this is a four this is a five and all attackers across uh donuts river so four against six it's clearly less than one to one so yes this attack is not uh, happening so let me yeah that's better uh no yeah <laughs> okay okay so uh, let's go to the other unit over there i think the situation is even worse there uh, i mean that's a four uh, that's a nine here plus position it's ten and uh, no solid coordination or anything so yeah this definitely uh, doesn't go ahead so uh, these were the attack checks and now we check for removal to reserves seeing that these units are not doing anything <laughs> there uh, stavka recalls them well no they're doing a job i suppose okay uh descending order so yeah we would go this would be the first so okay uh did not move or attack yeah it stayed where it was adjustment to german unit supply can be traced from the unit's hex yeah clearly can because it's uh, uh i don't know uh tricky uh they have eliminated so it's uh one two three four five two this so yeah that can be traced the unit was not placed on the map from the reserve no removal of the unit okay it would not cause another soviet unit to become nearly uh surrounded uh, or unable to trace supplies so yes uh, you have to check up uh, that's because uh, there are no other units in this hex and if we remove this reserves then uh well uh, they can't go the german unit can't go for the good the, the six uh it could go yeah uh, one unit could end up here and then no this would, would cause this unit to become surrounded because this hex would not be in control if a unit if a german unit moves here uh no so yeah would not cause uh of course it wouldn't uh in a hex in the operation limit it would not cause a surrounded no the unit is not in karakov clearly but okay let's see then it's a non-vp hex uh it's not in adjustment to village target that exclusively no for the 
on the front no it's adjustable to view but it's it's on front uh it is in it's a non vp hex within the operational limit okay and stacked with another unit no it isn't and or adjacent to at least two soviet occupied hexes yes it is it is adjacent to at least two soviet occupied hexes so yeah this goes to reserves okay let me um moving it all right uh, right here for the time being and uh let me check now if if a german unit let me place uh sorry well i i mean the only hex a german unit could uh go into it's this the vacated hex uh, because uh then it would be uh or no mm, let me see because the user what six units so let me let me try something with this so let's say it could it go here for example i mean it can go here obviously be then just uh two here breaking some controls and yeah no oh yeah two three four five six because it shall be road Let's see here now. No, not still. No, if it goes just one more, if it could do it here, yeah. Uh, and mm, let me see. Uh, would not become nearly surrounded. Ah, uh, yeah. It 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 causes it to become nearly surrounded, doesn't it? I mean, I, I, even if it even if it is, yeah. Uh, let's see what's nearly surrounded. Okay, a Soviet unit is considered nearly surrounded if a potential move by one on this person would cause that unit to become surrounded and it does just to become surrounded to become nearly surrounded yes and, and 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 this because then just one and this first unit can move this unit then could move and go here and these two units would be surrounded. So this is nearly surrounded. I suppose. Because then it controls these two hexes. And these three hexes are controlled by... And it's only this hex. So, so yeah. Is there any... Or unable to trace supply? I mean, yeah, this unit trace a supply from... I suppose... Uh, but that is that it, yeah it is a supply from through these units so no but uh is the removal of this unit here the removal of this unit here that causes this and i think it is because then this unit would have to go uh two and it would go here two and three here across the minor river would be uh five here six here it could reach here but then uh yeah it could because then it would be one two it would be next impulse but uh, but uh, i mean yeah that, that, that's a tricky one see removal of the the unit would not cause it is it the removal of the unit i mean no it's not the removal of the unit that would cause that i mean this can happen right now because i 
I mean, this unit is nearly surrounded by itself, uh, as these units. I mean, they're already nearly surrounded, just one movement here. The, uh, this doesn't affect their status. Yeah, okay. I mean, they're already nearly surrounded, because it says to cause to become nearly, and these are, are nearly surrounded, because a movement by this unit, maybe this is one, because th this unit is not uh, in the zone of control right now of anything, so it could go one, two, three, four, and surround these units. Yeah. So yeah, it's not it's not becoming. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was looking for. And yeah, it's not it. it, it they are uh, in this position. These units are nearly surrounded. Um, I suppose this one is two. But the, the, you know, these are definitely one, two, three, four, yeah. These are definitely nearly surrounded. Uh, this is undispersed, supplied. So, but it's, they're not becoming because of this. They are already. So, yeah, we can remove uh, this hex. Again, uh, uh, trust supplies, no problem. Hex would not go as surrounded. This is not surrounded. So, yes, it goes to the reserve. Oh, God. Now there are four. Soviet unit in the reserve. Uh, yeah, that was longer than it could be longer than I thought it would. But okay. Uh, yes. So yeah, th th that's it. That's it. I mean. Yeah, non-VP hex within the limit stacked with another unit or adjusting, or yeah, it was adjusting to at least two Soviet occupied hexes, yeah. I mean, it was not doing not as it was, was it? Uh, so yeah, well, that could create the potential for um, some interesting moves on our port. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe surrounding <laughs> this, this one uh, at some point. So yeah, that was uh, the uh, auxiliary uh, card. Uh, nothing else happens. So yeah, discarding this, there's just one card in the Soviet uh, draw pile. I don't know what it is. And now it's our um, impulse. It's the last card in our hand. It's this card. Second SS Panzer Corps, and uh, let me review the situation because I, I have seen a potential here. There is the potential for something that would, you know. Uh, okay, let me start by. Uh, I mean, I can uh, clearly can't play the event. Of course, uh, there's no event to play. Uh, I could keep it. I could keep it and use it for. No, I can't use the salt cut. I'm not planning on attacking. Uh, anything. I don't think I have the potential to do that. But uh, activating second SS, yeah, that would be okay because uh, I mean, do I want to move? I uh, I don't think I want to move these units. They have proved quite successful. They stemmed the advance of Popov of uh, South Southwest Front. They kept the objective here, and uh, the group here, you see this? Uh, the Southwest Front units had to go, you know, in circles around here, trying to attack, trying to reposition themselves. Uh, yeah, they, they managed to eliminate one of our units, but uh, this was, as, as I predicted, uh, they did a splendid job there. Uh, it was um, a stack of nine strength, and then they got the the, the position. So uh, the Soviets had to master too much strength. They couldn't because uh, we kept the line close. Uh, and I'm not sure I want to move them just now. I mean, would would say okay, uh, because of, if if I move them, then the road uh, down here um, would be open. And I don't want them to move that fast here. Uh, I could bring them 
here and uh, create problems uh, in the Karakow front. I d uh, definitely don't want to get the unit. Uh, yeah, I don't get the unit out of uh, Zmigiev. The only thing I could I could do was uh, take the dispersed marker off that you. Oh come on! So was take the dispersed marker off that unit and then the other one would be dispersed of course but uh, there's no point in doing that because it's uh, we were nearing the end of the turn there are just one soviet impulse i mean yeah they could use it to attack us but uh, uh, uh just to get the dispersed marker off uh, with the primary card uh because what i have thought is is this uh, i mean i know it's risky but uh I mean, we have to take some risks, don't we? Um, since since uh, the movement methods uh, failed, I mean, uh, failed to instruct the Soviets to secure Slavyansk, Slavyansk is open to us. And uh, let me explain you how it happened. Uh, it happens because uh, mobile group of uh, that was uh, activate is a spearhead unit and since no unit was already in Slavyansk uh, mobile group of uh, is not so interesting uh, so interested in securing stuff uh, I mean it uh, its units get themselves surrounded they just want to move forward and so that's why uh, all this situation has happened because they can't move forward actually and uh, let me remind you that uh, they skip methods 4 to 9 and it is method 5 that instructs them to, to get into a Soviet VP hex an empty Soviet uh, so instruction 5 that would instruct them to uh, take Slavyansk is not there for them and then 6th army uh, we activated uh, the units in the 6th army and what it happened is that they couldn't because they couldn't reach the unit so the here didn't have the movement points to reach Slavyansk the other units these units had the points two three four uh, yeah it was one hex closer yeah it was one hex closer exactly it's by one hex but uh, it was not activated because the selector was uh, prefer highest strength so yeah the units that were activated uh, couldn't reach so Slavians is open for us and I see potential here and but yes it's the 40th course so I'm going to use this activate one unit close uh, that there is in every um, German card so uh, as I've said there are units proximate so can I do this Yes, I can because I have not used it. You can use it once a turn. I have. There is a marker, special marker for this. Uh, once a turn. Yes, that's a good point here. And uh, the restrictions. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Activating one unit. Once per game turn, you may activate any one German unit able to trace supply at the moment of the activation. Yeah, they can. I mean, all these three units can. Uh, this is a German, so this is by default uh, trace apply, and also these units too. Uh, of course, there are also enemies also control, but here uh, it can trace it through here or even he here. No, it can't. Uh, it can go here, two, one, two. It can uh, trace apply. Uh, because it's German occupied. So, uh, regardless of the unit's designation, so yeah, uh, a unit activated in this manner can't attack. It doesn't say anything about not being able to enter an, an enemy town or city. I think this was the case in Arden. Again, I'm not uh, sure, can't remember very well uh but uh, it can't attack it doesn't say anything about attacking so uh, what are my other options one would say why don't you uh, uh wait until the next 
Soviet, there's only one card and the, the Soviet, the last Soviet impulse and then you play the last move and take uh, Slavgang so the Soviets can't, you know, uh, react. Uh, but the point is, uh, if, if I, I don't know what card it is, if, if uh, let's say it's a first guard army or something, uh, or again, uh, something like that could potentially uh, surround these units or whatever, uh, and uh, not allow us, may, maybe I will miss my chance. Okay, so uh, I will do that now and uh, let's hope. Of course, I'm not so uh, happy about entering Slavyansk because uh, uh, we're already to a risk here because this is in the artillery bra zone and you have seen what the artillery has done to this unit. Uh, Slavyansk is too, but it's the last impulse when the Soviets will get uh, artillery, uh, an artillery uh, barrage bonus, and uh, turn three, there will not, there won't be um, automatic artillery barrage even in this limit. So yeah, uh, the po my problem here is which unit should I get into here? Uh, of course, the obvious choice would be uh, this unit here. It's four strength. It would go into Slavyansk and be, you know, well defended. Slavyansk would be well defended, of course. And the, but the problem now is that if I do that, this unit, if nothing changes, and I assume it won't, at least it won't change uh, to for the. It will only change for the worst, the not it? Okay, uh, this unit won't be able to trace supply because there is uh, enemy zone of control here, enemy zone of control here, and I don't think this can get uh, from this map. Uh, it's not, I don't think they can trace supply from here since it's already in zone of control. Besides, if I move this unit, then. Uh, it's sort of a gap. It's not. It's not an actual gap because uh, you got units. But uh, again, this unit would have trouble tracing supply. Uh, I mean, if they get a unit, uh, I mean, they can. It can trace it through here. It would have to go here. One, two, and uh, three, four. Yeah, it it would could trace supply. Uh, it could trace supply, but not so certain. But and we would lose the plus one bonus. And yeah, on the other hand, is it advisable for a uh, to get a one step? I mean, one of the the other option would be to get this unit, a one step unit, and go two here, and four and six here. It could easily reach Slavians, and then we will have units everywhere yeah and uh, since we've got units there we could just um, i mean no problem tracing supply it's all with, uh, through uh, german units we still keep uh, well, we keep these units surrounded don't we yeah we surround also this unit is it? yes because it's unit here unit here uh but uh, yeah no matter which unit we move and yeah, but they could they could try to attack, wouldn't they? Yeah. The four strength. The problem is that I, I can't move if it goes the the fortieth corps. I would do that. Yeah, of course, move this and this to cover my lines. But I can only move activate one unit. Uh, so. Yeah, I, I think two victory points uh, is well worth taking the risk and, you know, getting these units uh, separated and let's get hope it won't get surrounded. Uh, because if it gets surrounded, yeah, I mean, they can't go, uh, this unit around. this unit's not around, it can't go anywhere. They could, they, they will have to go, uh, yeah, it, it could, they could, you know, bring units and surround. Uh, if they get a unit here, we're surrounded, and and we would be unable to trace supply. And whereas if we get this unit, they can surround it, but it will be able to trace supply. 
through these units and I don't know no uh, can we stand one impulse I mean if it's mobile group if the last card is mobile group pop off I'm not counting cards I'm not in the cabinet of this because it uh, takes away from the three of the game I don't think it will be mobile group pop off um, I could risk it but then they get the first impulse also next turn so yeah no guarantees there so yes uh, I'll, I'll risk this and have a better unit better okay a four strength unit a stronger unit two steps into Slavyansk uh, maybe it will get eliminated so yeah that's what I'm doing activating uh, playing this card to activate one unit I'll place the one unit activate and it has a used side yeah so I'm placing it uh, on the calendar where well, it's the last impulse anyway so yeah I'm doing this so I'm activating and let me count very carefully so it's three here breaking zone of control center broken one to cross the river four and five into Slavyansk and now Slavyansk returns to German control and uh, yeah but uh, let's place yeah just uh, yes, and that was our last card. I think the uh, the 40th corp has redeemed. So well, so I'm adjusting again. The VP hexes go from 10 to 8. Yeah, uh, that that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. From 10 to 8, not bad, not bad at all. And so, uh, so yes, that's it. That was the last German impulse, and we've still got one Soviet card, so they will get uh, a last impulse, and then the turn will be over. But uh, let me uh, make it another part.